Hello everybody and welcome back to Mob Rotator. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to be jumping in as... Who are we jumping in as? Ooh, um, I think we're jumping in as Loud. This one seems very interesting. Plus 30% damage, plus 50% enemies, and minus 3 harvesting at the end of a wave. That seems interesting. We also get a very wide selection of weaponry here. I never really know what's the best to start out with. I always like taking the double barreled, and the double barreled is pretty darn good. Um, but yeah, I'm never 100% sure. The spear's been pretty good for us recently, although also um, the wrench could be kind of an interesting one to grab off the bat. Let's try a wrench out off the bat with extra damage. But yeah, extra enemies means obviously extra experience and stuff. Okay, I'm noticing now that the wrench is mighty slow. Uh, we learnt last time that armor is pretty important for us, so we want to make sure we get that. We've got an extra item there right off the bat, which is really nice. Trying to get as much money as I can early on. we got quite a lot there. XP gain off the bat is really good. Um, I think we'll take range here, and knockback is super good. The medic gun with lifesteal is always nice. It does decent damage as well, so we'll take that. <laughs> I love the little... Uh, the little fist coming out of our head. But so far, enjoying this game a ton. Again, remember, I am backlog recording these, so I haven't seen your guys' comments yet. I apologize. But I'm I'm just backlogging loads of this, just because I'm enjoying it so much. I want to play so much of it. It's just an easy, really chill game to play. I'm looking forward to getting our first win. I don't know when that'll end up coming. Um, I guess we'll see. We want armor. There's more armor. Uh, we'll lock in the laser gun as well, actually. Yeah, I, I really want to try and make um, the turrets work. Apparently, I was speaking to the developer earlier. He said he has been sort of buffing them to try and make them a bit more viable. So I'm hoping that we can take advantage of that viability at some point. Because I really do like the idea of the turrets. Uh, they're just a little bit weak to start with. I think they get a little better later on, uh, later on if you get a lot of engineering. But to start with, they really don't have much to them. I realized I missed out on a tree there, but I was getting a push second. So what does minus harvesting do to us? You lose nine materials at the end of a wave. That's kind of interesting. Um, plus two engineering, we'll take that. We'll take our laser gun. So with this character, I'm guessing the reason we have the minus harvesting is because there's so many more enemies to give us XP, to give us materials, that you lose some because you're going to be getting a ton more. And it's a kind of a way to balance the character in the later levels. Just a really interesting idea, actually. I like the fact that some of the stats can go minus as well. And that's a, just a really good ability in itself. It allows for some more interesting builds and stuff. Like, I'm not saying you're ever going to build on purpose into the minuses. But it means that if you do go into the minuses, there is going to be consequences to that. Which is going to affect your builds. Uh, more armor. More max HP. Every six, uh, shoot six alien eyes around you every five seconds. We'll take that. Um, nice. Let's let's, let's re-roll actually. Um, I'm gonna re-roll again. I'm gonna take all three of these. We're at full suite of weaponry now, which obviously doesn't matter too much as is, but could be kind of useful. But yeah, so we really want to try and get as much money as we can to compensate for the loss in uh, our harvesting right now. Which, yeah, I'm going to say it's a really cool ability of this character. I kind of like the idea of more enemies because obviously it's dangerous, but it's a lot more fun. It means the earlier waves are going to be a lot more hectic. It does just seem to, to, to like double the spawn rate. Uh, as in, like, when an enemy spawns, just two of them spawn instead. Oh, well, not specifically two because it is only 50%, not 100%, but you know what I mean. Beautiful. Um, we're not really doing any elemental damage right now, so I'll recycle that. I'll take the attack speed. I will grab another laser gun to upgrade. Um, Gentle Alien is pretty nice. Plus 5% enemies. Hell yes. Why not? Um, I think I'm going to combine these two and grab the spear here. Uh, spear here. And take the 3 HP for the minus 1 damage. Just because that spear's got good range and damage in it. Yeah, as you can see, the, the wrench really it, it isn't great. 
on its own, it isn't great. We can get a bunch of engineering to go with it. I suggested that I, I think engineering, instead of just increasing damage, it should also increase the fire rate of your um, of your turrets as well. I think that'd be a really good way to give it a little bit of a bonus. But then again, I've not really seen it into the late game, so I can't really advocate for buffs quite yet. But that is what I would do personally if it does need buffing. So far, we're kind of doing all right. We've got a good amount of piercing going on and stuff as well. I'm kind of letting myself take damage here because um, I want as much money as I can get. Um, plus two engineering again there. We haven't taken much luck, so let's take some of that. We can get a new medic gun to level that up again. We can take a new spear to level that up. We can take another gentle alien. <laughs> um, we can take yet another spear. Um, ooh, I'd like that. And I'll take that as well. I don't know if I need to worry about the downsides more often. I don't really worry about them that much. I just take what I want and the downsides stack up as they do. Whatever. But I'm really liking this amount of enemies. This is a lot of fun. I'm wondering if the uh, the sort of ascension levels when you beat the game, I wonder if any of them are going to add more enemies and stuff. I bet they are. I could definitely see that being a addition. and get as many of these materials as we can. I'm, I'm literally trying to walk directly into enemies at this point. To try and get as many materials as I can. It's, it's working out pretty well for me so far, to be honest. Somehow. Beautiful. 266. There's a bunch of extra engineering. Ooh. Purple across the board. I think we take armor at this rate. And we take more engineering here. Um, 20 range and attack speed. Would Do we have any lifesteal right now? We don't, so I think that's fine to take. Uh, another wrench. Hell yes. Um, let's get rid of the taser and grab another wrench. And then let's get rid of the shredder. Let's lock that in and get rid of the shredder for another medical gun. So, I don't know how much our turrets are doing now, but I imagine 17. 17 a pop and we've got two of them now. And this one's a laser turret as well, because we have a high level wrench. The higher level wrench, the uh, the better turret you get. I thought it would spawn more turrets, but it's actually just, it makes the turret that you have better. Which I, I kind of like, I think that's maybe a better way of doing it. I'm hoping we can get more turrets as we go here. Or like landmines would help as well. I, th I think landmine scale of engineering. And explosive damage. We don't seem to be taking an awful lot of damage, though, which is nice. Okay, I want to try and push through into the center here. Yeah, that worked out. Kind of a, a big risk there, but worth it in the end. Plus, ooh, that's really good, yeah. Um, and then we'll take 9 max HP. We do have a good bit of HP region already. Pickup radius is a must. I think we get rid of that for this. And honestly, I think we take that. We Like, the HP regen, we don't mind losing it and we just gain some. Especially considering we gained lifesteal from our uh, medic gun as well. I really like this. This is a good setup. Considering the character we're playing, I was, I'm was i surprised we're doing as well as we are right now. I really thought we'd have... A much, much harder time with this guy. But we've got good armor. We've got good damage. Really good damage, in fact. I just want, I just want my turrets to pop off a little more than they currently are. Trying to stay... I, I think another thing that's helping right now is I'm staying in the fray of it. I'm staying right in the dead center. The dead center tactic didn't seem like the right one to start with, but... It's showing to be more and more viable, really. We get, tend to get a lot more materials. I mean, look at the amount of materials we've got here. How much are we going to lose at the end of the round at this point? We lose 27. We got six. We got a lot. Okay, so we'll take life steal to get a bit of that going again. Plus three armor again, please. More alien eyes is good. We'll take that. We'll re-roll. We'll take that. Re-roll. We'll take that. We'll take our landmines as well. 
explosive damage, why not? And I think we'll leave it there. This is looking good. It's looking really good. We got off so much money that way that I'm expecting a lot more. And then Piggy Bank should help out a ton too. De definitely something that I'm seeing that we need at the minute is speed. I think defense-wise, if we take a look at our armor, for example, we literally take half damage right now. All these extra materials have allowed us to really beef ourselves up. This is probably one of my favorite characters so far. You're able to build your run up a lot quicker and there's just a lot more going on, which is kind of fun. I saw one character that allowed you to take up to 12 weapons, which sounds really fun. I don't know how I unlocked that one though. There we go. But like, look at that. I just walked basically through the dead center of all of these enemies and just rehealed all of it. At this point, I realize I'm taking a lot of damage, but I'm kind of doing it on purpose to get as much money as I can. Um, I think we go with more HP regen, attack speed. There is a max level shredder. I think we recycle that and get a max level shredder. There's a turret. There's yet more armor. I think we leave that there. Max level shredder could be really good. We're onto the harder enemies now. As you can see, they're dying pretty quick, though. We just got to be cautious of them. We do have a good amount of knockback as well here, which is nice. I'd like to get a bit more, but I'm happy with where we're at right, right now. Good, good line them up. Kind of like the, uh, the, the, the eye things that we're firing. They seem to be doing a good amount of damage. There's a tree over here we can come to get. A, and it gave us an item as well. 22 seconds remaining. Yeah. Yeah, the eyes shooting out from us is pretty useful. It does a good amount of damage and it kind of hits all around us. Anything AoE based is always going to be good in my book. Saves us a lot of hassle. We need a bit more pickup radius as well. That'd be good. Another 500 there though. A, another turret. More engineering. There's a high level knife. Um, one percent. Oh, that's minus three. No, thank you. Um, fifty percent pierce damage can't go above base. I don't really get how this item works. I'm just gonna reroll. Ignore. Ooh, sword is a new one. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Alters between a thrust and a sweep attack. What sort of damage does that do? 36. It does the same as this. I'm going to try it out. I realize it's a bit of a weird thing to do. Um, there you go. We wouldn't, we're, not, we're not going for dodge anyway, so let's just take that. I feel like a sword could be really good, because it's kind of like a spear, but it's also got a swipe attack on it as well. Yeah, we've got an incendiary turret as well going now, which is nice. This is all about maximizing my XP gain and my money gain now. we just got a bonus 30% XP, which I think is going to be huge for us. God, I love that. When you see a wave of enemies spawn, you can just insta-kill them. It's so satisfying. And yeah, that, the incendiary turret seems to be doing pretty good. It seems decent. We're taking down the enemies pretty de like, at a pretty decent speed here. Health is, is really staying up there as well, to be honest. A lot more than I would have expected. Beautiful, another 400 for us there. Range damage is something we haven't been grabbing, so I'll, I'll grab that. Um, minus enemies plus harvesting. I mean, harvesting doesn't matter for us at all. Plus range damage, I'll take that. Um, another turret, laser turret there. And we'll leave it at that, I think. We're getting into the point now where we have quite a lot of turrets on the board. Turrets are doing pretty good damage as well. Got a good amount of engineering going for them, so... Like I said, it's just a little bit of extra. We've got quite a lot of turrets going. They can just take out enemies that I don't get a chance to, to see to. It is a little annoying when they do this, where they like all spawn in one corner. Like, I wish they'd spawn in the center a little more often. 
but I don't really get to influence that at all. A big guy there. Definitely the armor has been the uh, the top tier grab this time around, I think. Armor is very, very valuable. We're killing a lot of enemies as soon as they get near us. Like, they'll charge directly at us and we'll just, like, destroy them. Another 600 there. More armor. I'm, I'm just going to keep taking armor. It's so good. Ooh, yes. Extra piercing seems really good. More engineering. More XP. That seems risky. <laughs> Plus 20 range, why not? What are we minus on now? So dodge is bad, but that doesn't matter. It can't go negative, really. Uh, speed is a little bad, and life um, life steal isn't great, but life steal can't go minus either. So as long as they can't, they, some of these stats can't go into minus, I don't mind giving them up. It's when they start going to the minus system that causes pain. It's problematic. So speed's our only really one that we're losing anything on. I think weaponry wise, we're pretty much in the clear for the end game, or at least to get to the uh, wave 17 as we did before. I wouldn't say in the clear. I'm going to guess based on the fact that we got to 17 last time and it was getting really hectic, that there's going to be uh, 20 waves max. I'm not 100% sure on that. Just based on the amount of time you spend in a run, I imagine a run's going to be no longer than about 40 minutes, 30 minutes. I, I don't know how long the last one was, to be honest. So I'd expect that to be around the, uh, the cusp. Trying to stay a little bit around my turrets here, but... Honestly, with this character, I've noticed that just moving constantly is the way to go. Staying near, nearer towards the center so you don't get spawned on is honestly a really good tactic as well for this guy. Got very, very little uh, materials that time around. Um, HP regen again, we'll take that. A level 3 taser is interesting. I just don't know what we'd swap that for. Because the laser gun's really good for the piercing, so I don't really think we want to give that up. Plus one engineering, we'll take that. Explosive damage, we'll take that. Ooh, we'll lock that in. 5% enemy speed is scary, but I think that's worth it. Let's go. Yeah, 5% enemy speed is really scary, but I do think that that's worthwhile. I might need to get some more speed myself, though, before I take it. It might, it might just be something that I lock in every, every round until I've got an additional 5% speed myself, you know what I mean? Once I can fully counteract that speed, then it's more okay to take. This is my favourite build so far, though. Like, we, we're able to just kind of walk into enemies and be mostly fine. You can tell that my turrets are doing a good job by just how many materials surround them. Because materials only spawn on the enemies that are killed, so you can tell they're doing a good job. So far, so good, though. Picks a bunch of materials here. Nice. Elemental damage. Ooh, minus attempts on enemies, though. Nah, I'm gonna recycle that. Oh, plus five engineering. Hell yes. Um, more armor, please. So I lock that in again. More engineering, please. There's a minigun in this game. Excuse me? Um, okay, I think we take away the pe the uh, laser gun to buy a minigun. Yes, please. We'll take that. We'll take that. I don't know what minus luck does. Less chance of finding items or consumables when you kill an enemy. Also reduces the rarity of items in the shop and any level upgrades. Okay. So it's not great to do that. But we just got a minigun. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm imagining that's going to be a great boon to our success. Remember now we've got the elite enemies coming in, the red ones. These guys seem to have double health and I think they deal double damage as well. But now we've got 67% less damage taken, so our armor is going to carry us, I think. And also, this is a new, like an introduction of a new mechanic with these red enemies, which usually means this wave itself isn't all that bad. It's the next wave that's going to be problematic. 
And remember, we've got the item that lets us pierce an extra time as well, so the minigun's even better than it otherwise would be if we get the extra piercing on it. Yeah, I think this setup's really good. I like the melee weapons that we have up close. I think our engineering's got to the point now where our turrets are doing a pretty darn good job. Like, they're killing stuff instantly. And also, I think the turrets do pierce now with that extra piercing. Um, engineering. 10% speed. There you go. And now we can take that as well. Let's go. Getting 10% speed completely counteracts the 5% speed the enemies gain. So we've now got really good... I really want to get to 100 health. I, I swear, the, there must be a character unlock or an achievement or something for getting 100 HP. It just has to be. But I think this is potentially a winning run. I don't really know what the, the last few waves hold for us. This is the furthest I've been. But I can't see myself dying on this wave. I am surprised that this is the character who did it with the extra enemies, but I suppose it just means shops are so much better. Especially when you've got piercing, you're able to shoot through things. Extra enemies doesn't make that big of a difference. Nice one. One range damage, minus five range. Extra recovery. Extra engineering. Reroll here. See, now that's a bit much. I will take this again. What's my attack speed at right now? Yeah, attack speed's really good. I'm definitely going to take that. Um, Reroll again. I'm going to take it again. And do we want to lock any, more, any of these in? In. We did lose quite a lot of fire rate there, but for the range damage, I think I think overall we're gaining. And also we got actual range itself as well, which I think is really good. We didn't lose a ton. We lost like 15%. Right in there for us. These guys are very fast. But this is the highest we've been now in waves. I'm guessing next wave we'll start to see some new enemies. Maybe this wave we will as well. We're not that far into the wave, to be honest. It's our ability to heal right now that's really saving us. And to be honest, like, our damage is still wicked. It's so good. 20% dodge while standing still. We don't really care about that. Ooh, hello. Um, I think we take the 20% attack speed back. Um, we also got 15% speed, 10% dodge. Ooh, yes, I'll take that. Oh, that's really good. Get five turrets on the map simultaneously. Yes, we got the builder achievement going. Yeah, our movement speed now is wicked. So much better. We did lose a bit of armor for it, which I'm worried about. But considering we still have 22, wait, no, 18, sorry, 18 armor, I think we're still fine. That's still a 64% versus 67. Because it does have diminishing returns. So the, the more armor we get, the more we can afford to lose it. This is wave 19. Like I said, wave 20, I think, will be the last one, but I'm, I'm really not sure. Okay, we just lost a lot of HP there. I've completely lost my cursor. I've completely lost my cursor. There it is, there it is. Things got really bad towards the end of that one. Uh, there's our armor and dodge, um, more armor, thank you. 10% speed, extra range, yes. 
That would be really good right about now. Lock both of those in. Uh, we can we can buy that one now. What's our range at right now? We'll take that. Okay, 90 seconds we've got. Oh, okay, there's something new. What the hell are you? Okay, so this is probably a boss. I don't know if this is killable. I'm going to assume it is. Sometimes they're like environmental hazards more so than actual things you can take care of. I'm going to need a new cursor. This cursor is getting lost very quickly. Okay, there's definitely more than one of these on the screen, isn't there? No, he's just increasing the amount he fires. He must be getting low HP. Honestly, the, the amount of other enemies isn't that overwhelming. I thought there'd be like this dude and then like a bunch of other stuff. But honestly, I'm handling it reasonably well right now. 30 seconds left. Okay, now he's dashing at me. It kind of locks me in place for a second there. Twelve seconds. The big boys are really taking their toll on me right now. We did it! Run one. Okay, that was the last round. We unlocked difficulty one. New enemies appear. We also unlocked rip and tear. Enemies have a 10% chance to explode. Ooh, we also unlocked the engineer and the doctor. That was a very, very fun one. Um, regardless, I realise this episode is a little shorter than I'd normally do. But it, considering it's our first one run, I think I'm going to leave it at that one. And considering a plus 50% enemies character. Yeah, that was pretty good going. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.